Welcome back once again. My name is Alex Sever and the channel is K2K YouTube channel. Now let's see how you can use the complex number and the lab view. And the complex number, you know that it is a number which has a wide range of applications in engineering such as impedance calculation and the power calculation. It means either to differentiate between reactive and active power so stay in touch right let's now jump in blank vi go to numerics then take to complex number and then pin that to tab now you see that there are subparts that will allow us to deal with and manipulate the complex number let us pick that that will help us to create the complex number. It, will, it means it will allow us to set the real part and the imaginary part. And we do some configuration which are multiplication, addition and subtraction. Start with imaginary part which is to create another constant and to make a real part and make like 10. Yeah. You can make either the conjugate of that. Uh, let us do conjugate of that complex number. And I'm going to create indicator for the both sides either to indicate the output, uh, which is the first complex number conjugate. Zoom in to resize and fit the eyes of the user to improve the visibility uh, edit that and call it the conjugate it means the indicator which will show us the conjugate of first given a complex number Then create indicator for the first created complex number. Size this to fit the eyes and to be visible. And call this the name of that to the needed complex number. It means the provided complex number in example. And it is the desired or provided complex number which you already create at the beginning. Now let it run to see the output. You see that there is the first complex number given created as example and its conjugate is seen there. Now we are going to see uh, the arithmetic operation of the complex number in lab view so let's clean this because we already finished dealing with it and then duplicate this given complex number to be two so that you may be able to either perform addition then go to Automatic operation pilot bring addition. We will add the complex number as we add the numbers in the lab view actually. Then click there and then create an indicator where we will be able to read the output gotten from any arithmetic operation performed then. Decide this to fit the eyes so that they may be visible to the user. Decide this window and then name this to result. Of course, it's there where we will be reading the obtained result. When you try to hit run, you will find that our complex number are added. The imaginary part to real part. To imaginary part and real part to imaginary part then replace 
this arithmetic operation to see whether all arithmetic operation will be operated to subtraction. When you hit run, you will find that the result for both imaginary and real part will be zero because they are equal to C. When you replace again to multiplication and hit run, you will find that the complex number will be also multiplied. Replace this arithmetic operation to division. The result will be obtained also as a division. So when you try to hit run, you will find that the result will be 1 because the complex numbers are equal. You can also uh, get the the conjugate of your complex number. Let us try. You can also uh, find the the polar form of your complex number C. When you try to create an indicator there, you will be able to look and find the modulus or the magnitude of your complex number. As we know, the modulus of complex number will be the square roots of the sum of the squares of real part and imaginary part. We name this to the magnitude of our complex number. And when you, you hit run to see whether what you do is running well, you will find that the magnitude will be 1 because you have, for the result, you have 1 as, imaginary, as real part and 0 as imaginary part. Let us try to replace the arithmetic operation to addition. See, when you hit run, also the more or the magnitude of our complex number will also change. Then I hope that you enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit subscribe and leave a comment to tell us how this video makes you feel like it. Or if there is anything to improve, make sure you share this video to, to your neighbors so that we may share together the knowledge. The name was Alex Sebahire and the channel was K2K YouTube channel. Stay in touch.